G'day folks, it's Cortez Arino, and welcome to part 3 of the Chinese Palace tutorial. And this is what we will have done by the end of the episode guys. So unlike the first two episodes where we had an immense amount of building to do, uh, we had to do the castle wall, the gate and the foundations, this time we're doing a lot more detail work so it, uh, it will take a bit of time to explain it all in the video, but you should be able to get it built fairly quickly. Alrighty, let's get started. And the first thing you might have noticed when building your walls is that you could walk across the castle walls, but you couldn't actually get into the towers. So that's what we're going to do. Staircases for that and staircases to get into the castle gatehouse. So we'll do the gatehouse first, so just come along here, we're going to break three blocks, one, two, three, and then we're going to break that uh, stone bricks right there, and all you need to do is put two stone brick stairs like so. So put one of those on each side of the gatehouse, and then for all of our little towers, all you have to do is come along here, and we're going to break that stair and that bit of cobble, and then right there we're going to put our stair. Now everything above that stair we're going to break. So one, two, three. Well, not everything. We'll leave that last one and put a polished andesite slab right there. And then grab some stone brick slabs. And we're going to put one there and one there. And then just like we put doors in the gatehouse so we could get up to the top, we're going to do the same thing with the towers. But uh, just for the two towers on each side right here. We're not going to worry about them for the corner towers. And rather than show you block by block, I'll just show you what I've done. It's pretty obvious. So put a stone in the floor right there. Knock out these blocks. Spruce door with an upside down stair just above it. Then you can come in here, replace the floor with stone bricks and stone. And then two lanterns on andesite walls in the back corner. And then just put a line of stone bricks right there with your ladder going up and an acacia trapdoor so you can get up to the top. Okay, so come along to the inside of our palace and you should have these 10 block tall acacia pillars in each corner. What we're going to do is on the ninth block we're going to put two upside down acacia stairs and then we're just going to run cross beams like this and you'll see in a moment I've already completed most of them. So go ahead and do this in each corner and you should end up with a big cross beam going all the way around the outside. So once you've done that, turn your attention to these acacia logs in the middle, the acacia beams. Once again, on the ninth block, we're going to put our upside down stairs, just like you can see right there. And then we are going to run cross beams with our stripped acacia. Okay, so now on the outside of the building, we are going to build four of these support beams. And we're going to build one in each corner of the palace. So I'll show you how to build one, and you can copy it to the other. So come along here to the very corner next to our cobblestone wall. We're going to break that block and put a quartz pillar in facing straight up. Now on top of the quartz pillar, we are going to place six red sandstone walls. And then another quartz pillar on top. Now on top of that we're going to place a cobblestone block. And then we're going to put two quartz stairs down against the cobblestone upside down. And these are sort of pointing away from our building. So we'll be pointing in a different direction for each corner. Now on top of those stairs we're going to put two more cobblestone blocks. And then grab a cobblestone slab. We're going to put one against the top half of those blocks. And then another one on top of that slab. Okay, so keep your sandstone and quartz pillars in your hand because we are going to build the entryway of our building. So we'll begin by placing our quartz pillars. So this is where to place the first one, just in this little flat area. So it's one, there's one block gap between the, uh, the cobblestone wall and that quartz. The next one, once again, is on this flat stone area and in the same sort of place. And then the final one, is break that slab and then place it right there next to the cobble wall. So go ahead and place the quartz in the same position on this side. And then we're going to put sandstone walls on top. So this longer one on the outside, that is 10 walls. 
The next one is eight walls high, and the final one is six walls high. And then when you get to the top, we are going to put two quartz pillar blocks on top of each of these lines of wall. Then grab some dark oak stairs, and beginning right out the front here, we're going to put one upside down, just like that, pointing toward our, our staircase. And then just run a line of them all the way along. Now it's a little bit tricky to connect it to the wall right here. So where it's going to connect, just break that stair and then put yourself over our staircase and then place the stair facing from that direction. You'll see it looks a little weird there. But then when you place your next stair in, that will get it to connect the way we want it to. So same on this side. Break that one. Place it facing from that direction, and then we can connect them. Okay, so now I want you to grab some dark oak slabs, and in between our quartz pillar blocks, we're just going to run a line of slabs, just like so. So three on each side, just you can see top half of those quartz blocks. I'll show you this side, and you can do the exact same thing over on that side. Now, on top of these upside down stairs, we're going to grab dark oak planks, and just run a line of them all the way along and then finish just on the edge of our little staircase here. And then just in front of that, we are going to do a second line of them once again, finishing when it runs into our staircase. So that is how you should be looking, guys. So go ahead and do it on this side as well. Okay, so grab some dark oak planks and come along here. And just one block out from these upside down stairs right there, we are going to place three plank blocks. So first one goes right there, two, and three. So we're just leaving a little gap in the floor there. And then come along to this side, and with dark oak slabs, we're going to place three against the top half of those blocks we just placed. And then just on each side, we're going to run these slabs all the way out to the front, just like so, and then finish with one across the front like that. So basically what we've done is we've made a little rectangular hole just like so. Then on each side of that hole, just to the top, grab your dark oak planks again, and we're just going to run a line of them next to that hole. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you can connect them on each end just like so, then skip a block, place one, skip a block, place one, just like that guys. And in those gaps, we are gonna place glowstone. So when you come underneath, you've got some nice little lights, just like that. Okay, so now grab some dark oak slabs and we're gonna run a big rectangle of them all the way around our building, just like we did with these upside down stairs right here. So the first slab we're gonna place right there, just against the bottom half of that quartz, and then just run it all the way around and you can see where it is in relation to those upside down stairs. It's just sticking out a bit from that. So go ahead, do this all the way around the building. The only thing to remember is in the corners here, put a glowstone block and then just continue with your line of slabs. Okay, so now what we're going to do is replace some of those slabs we just placed with more glowstone blocks. So I'll show you the front wall first. So I've done that side. We're gonna do this side over here. So counting in from this one in the corner, what we're gonna do is skip three, then knock out the fourth and place a glowstone. Same thing, skip three, and skip three, and one more time, skip three. So we've just placed one, two, three, four extra glowstone. And it might be easier for you to remember where they go because they line up with these pillars right here. So that's in line with that one. Again, again, and the final one's in line with that pillar. So that is how to place them at the front. Now the side walls are a little bit different. So what we're going to do is counting in from the corner again. We're going to skip one, two, three, knock out the fourth one, place a glowstone. But this time we're going to skip four. So one, two three, four, and then knock out the fifth and place a glowstone right there. And we will do the same from this side. So skip three, replace the fourth, and then skip four and replace the fifth. So do that on both side walls. And then the back wall is different again. So come along to our corner glowstone 
And we're going to count the slabs. So we're going to skip three and then knock out the fourth and replace it. And then we're going to skip four, one, two, three, four, and knock out the fifth one and replace it. And we will do the same thing in from this side. Skip three, replace the fourth, skip four and replace the fifth. Now after that we are just going to leave gaps of five slabs and then place the rest and all the rest of these are going to line up with this uh, this column of red terracotta. So if you're placing it from the bottom you can just look at that terracotta and put it in. Otherwise skip five slabs and then place your glowstone. And finally we are going to come back to our stripped acacia in the middle here. So on each corner, what I want you to do is just place two upside down stairs against the acacia log, just like that. And then we're going to place three out to each side. So one, two, three there, and one, two, three right there. We just left them until we got all our glowstone and slabs in place. Otherwise, they would have gotten in the way. So go ahead and do that in each corner. So once you've done all of those, come along to our cross beams of stripped acacia in the middle here. And on each of these endings, so on all four of the endings of these, what we're going to do is continue that out three more acacia. So it's just in line with the other one. And then underneath this middle one, we're going to put a stripped acacia facing straight up like that. And then we're just going to place an upside down stair against it just like so. So it kind of looks like a little support beam when you were down here inside the palace. So I'll show you that one more time on this one. So just in line with that, we're going to go one, two, three. Underneath the bottom one, the underneath that middle one, we're going to put one facing straight up and then an upside down acacia stair right there. So make sure you do that on all four of these. Okay, so I hope you've got a pretty powerful pumpkin and melon farm for this build. We've already placed a lot of pumpkins, but we're about to place some melons. But before we do, we need to place all these dark oak slabs right here. And we're just placing these against the top half of those glowstone blocks we just placed. So run these slabs all the way around the entire building. And once you've done that, come along to the front here and grab some dark oak planks. And we're going to start with one plank on top of that quartz right there. And then next to that, just on top of the slabs we placed, we're going to put melons all the way along. Then in the corners, we're just going to place three more of these dark oak planks just around that glowstone in the corner. And then run it along again and keep doing that all the way around, placing your three dark oak planks in the corners until you finish all the way over here with a dark oak plank on top of that bit of quartz. So just go ahead and fill all that in. Okay, so come around to the front of our building right here and just come along to these, uh, these dark oak planks we've got on the ends of our melons. What we're going to do is we're going to come in diagonally and place another dark oak plank there with an extra one on top. And we'll do the same over here. So just diagonally out toward the front, we're gonna place two right there. And then we can grab our melons and we're going to run a line of them out toward the front. And then just where we get to that last block, we're just going to place another plank. And same over here. So starting where we've got these two, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six finish with a plank and then we're just going to run five of them across the front. So it just looks like that guys. Okay, so grab your dark oak planks again and come along to where we've got this extra one sticking up. And we're just gonna run a line of them across the top of the melons and we're going to finish poking out one block out toward the front just like that. And we'll do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we are overhanging the front. And now we're going to connect these two overhanging blocks just with dark oak planks. So run them all the way along like so. And then we can stay with our dark oak planks on top of these quartz pillars at the front. We're going to put two planks right there and two on top of that one. And then grab your dark oak trapdoors. And just here in front of these melons, we are going to run a line of them 
all the way along until we hit that block there. And we will do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so you may have noticed all these dried kelp blocks and other things up the top here. Uh, we're going to do them right now. So in the corners, we are going to build this. And I'll just break it so I can show you what to do. So that's how you should be looking at the moment. What we're going to do is place a glowstone on top of that glowstone right there. And then just grab your dark oak slabs and fill in the rest right here. So go ahead and do that in all four corners. And once you've done that in all four corners, I want you to come along to the back wall over here. And just in this middle section, we're going to do pretty much the same thing we just did. So an extra glowstone on top of the glowstones that are already there. Then grab your dark oak slabs and then just fill in this gap. And that's how it should look when you're done. So now come along to the front here where we've got our ladders. And you'll see right next to the top of those ladders we have this acacia trapdoor right there. What I want you to do is break that. And on top of that we're going to place two spruce logs. And then the third one will be the spruce wood with the bark end on it. So same thing just over here. Just get rid of that trapdoor. And we'll go two logs and then the third one with bark. Now grab your dark oak planks and just behind this uh, this pillar we just put in place three planks right there and then same thing on this side one two three and then on top of that we're just going to run a line of planks all the way along to the other side. So when you look at it from the front that's all all covered up behind our little staircase there. We do have that little gap just for a bit of extra detail. Now what we're going to do is staying with our planks right here, we're going to run another line of it all the way along, covering up all that gap. And then we're just going to come in here and keep plugging up these gaps with our dark oak planks. So when we are done, this is all nice and cleaned up. And one thing I forgot to mention, we just need a few glowstone right here for enough light. So just where this last melon is, just break that plank and you can see a glowstone beneath it we should have put another glowstone on top of that and the other one is right here so another glowstone on top of that one and then for the kelp blocks this is much much easier all we're doing is at the same height as those melons there we are filling up these rectangles just with our dried kelp and if I fly up above you can see where to place them Okay, so come to the inside of the building and now we are going to place a whole bunch of these lanterns that you can see going around the room. And it's pretty easy to see where they go. They are directly lining up with each of these acacia trapdoor windows. So on every single wall we have a lantern just above the window. And to build them it is pretty simple. So... Just grab an acacia fence and directly in line with those trapdoors we're going to put a fence hanging down from that acacia crossbeam. We will put a glowstone under that and then with red banners we're just going to place one on three sides just like that. And the last thing to do for this step is to grab your stripped acacia and we're going to put a bunch of pillars in. So in the corners, come along to where we've got this log end facing straight up and we're going to add six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and do that in all four corners. And then along the middle here, you can see I've added in where the pillars are going to go, but I'll break them quickly just to show you where they are. So there's going to be one right here in that cross section. There are going to be three on top of the endings of these logs and then another one at that cross section. So do that on both sides. And once again, all of these will be six blocks tall. OK, so come along to these lines of pillars we've got in the middle and we are going to build what I've done just there. So I've already done that side. I will show you how to do this side. So one block down from the, the top of the pillars, we're going to put upside down stairs facing each other. 
with a stripped acacia log running across the top just like so. So go ahead and do that on in between each of these and connect the gaps. So when you're done, you should be looking like that. Now in between these arches, we're going to put some fences and fence gates. So where we've got the four block wide gap, we're just going to put four fences. So that is on each side, just like that. But for the two in the middle, we're just going to put a fence on each end with an acacia fence gate in the middle. Okay, so come along to your corner pillars and what we're going to do is put two upside down stairs just in these, against the second one from the top and these stairs are pointing toward our building like that. So go ahead and do that in each corner. And then for the shorter walls, you can just grab an stripped acacia cross beam and run it all the way over until it connects like that. For the longer walls, we're doing the same thing. We're just going to run an acacia cross beam all the way over, but where it connects to these, we're also going to put an upside down acacia stair right there. And we're just going to continue that. So another upside down stair, then back to our logs, run it all the way along. When we hit this one here, we're going to do the same thing. Upside down stair on each side, just like so, and then continue our beam all the way along. So keep going until you've encircled it, the uh, the building with a big rectangle. And that's how you should be looking when you're done guys. But we are actually not done. We have two more cross beams to put in place and we're just going to put them in this center section right here. So come along to this cross beam we've got right here. And on this first pillar, we're going to put an upside down stair right there, just at the same height as the other ones. We're going to skip that middle pillar and then place an upside down stair right there and turn around. We'll do the same on this side. So upside down stair at the same height as the other ones and one right there. And then you probably know what to do from here. We're just going to run our cross beam over like that. And then on top of this stair, another cross beam right here. And now we are done. And once again, I spoke too soon. There's one more acacia beam we want to put in. And we're going to do it just above our staircase right here. So just on top of that acacia log, we're going to put an acacia log right there, sticking straight up and just run it all the way up until it connects. And then right here, we are going to put in a ladder and that is how we are going to get on to the next level. And the last thing to do for this step is to run a bunch more of these dark oak slabs all the way around the building, just on top of those melons. So I've done it on this side already. I will show you how to do it on this side. So just come along here, and where we've got this final block of dark oak planks, we're just going to place a slab against the bottom half of that, and run it along so it's just up from our melons and then just run it all the way to the corner it will connect to the uh, the bit of cobblestone we've got right there when we get to the cobble just turn the corner and go all the way around so do a big loop of that the next line goes just up and out to the front a bit so we're going to place a slab against the top half of that dark oak planks and then just run it along at this height, when we get to the corner, we will have to place in our cobblestone slab, just like that, then turn the corner, and keep going, and do a big lap. And that's where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So, I am hoping there will only need to be one more episode, until we can get this whole thing finished. With any luck, with any luck, it'll be just one more. So, thanks for watching, I'm Kurt Desarino. I'll see you later.